hello art friends. <laughs> now I cannot believe that we have actually been out and we have purchased some of these because Ooh. as you might know on this channel I'm a bit of a gouache snob and a few <laughs> years ago before like anyone had made videos on these I found them on like eBay or something and I remember thinking like those are such unusual looking art supplies yeah definitely and I was thinking like I, I wonder if I should buy some just as a joke because they look horrendous to paint with and then the most <laughs> unbelievable thing happened the internet went wild for these pants. Yeah, these are the hemi gouache in case you guys are out of the loop or have been under a rock for oh God, a while. They're so heavy as well. There's so much weight yeah, to this. I was literally just saying to Steph before we started filming, right? If they even turn out to be halfway decent, you get so much paint for your money. That thing is like a brick. Okay, so I guess I'll open this bad boy up. Do you want me to come on over and have a look? It's got a palette. Also useful because oh, wash is terrible. It comes with uh, brushes. I am Ooh. a fan of getting free brushes. Oh, well, that's actually okay. That's actually pretty nice. And these look. Do they pop out? I assume that they've got to, haven't they? Yeah. That's it. You, you got you got more nails than me. Get them under there, go. <laughs> They're harder to get out than I expected, but they look like dipping sauce. It totally. Do oh my god, you've got Here one. Here is a, a <laughs> pot of dipping sauce. Oh my god, they're very the <laughs> so We got McDonald's on the left and Dippy Love me some rich tomato dippy pots. <laughs> That's so sad. Oh my god, guys, don't eat the Himmy gouache. Okay, so here is a close-up of my swatches I've been doing. I do have quite like mixed opinions on these. Oh. I mean, as you can probably see from the paints themselves, they are very gloopy. Reminds me of um, The Sims when they used to say gloopy carbonara. <laughs> That's <laughs> a good word. gloopy yeah. carbonara. I'm like, going to give them that. <laughs> but the thing is though, I have to hand it to them. Um, the pigments on them are, are very good. Yeah, but bear in mind, these probably are student grade paints because they are like fairly cheap for the price point of like how many that you get. Uh, I think one of the bonuses with it is really that it comes already in like little pans that you can use. I do like so that, yeah. It's obviously handy to not have to walk around with like tubes of paint. I love that it comes in a cute little box too. I love the little, the whole thing. I think it's very cute. Do you want to see what I've drawn? I've really channeled my inner Steph for this one. This is a little frog wizard. Oh, is that what you've been doing while I've been swatching? Yeah, I thought like, it's like, oh God, swatching. It was either like sleep for a bit or draw. So I thought <laughs> I'd be productive. And he's looking down at a, a little potion bottle. And because we've got so many vibrant colors, I thought, oh, we could do like a vibrant potion oh, kind of thing. Idea. Yeah. Ooh, something that I have just thought of. Oh, <laughs> what did you think of, hon? Um, in terms of like the colours, I kept them like in the order that they actually came in in the set. Yes, you did. And we've got like a red next to green over here and then we've got some browns and stuff. <laughs> you should have heard her when I was peeling these. She was like, oh, don't you mess up the order. And I'm like, what order are they in? Yeah, there really isn't like a colour order. I just wanted them to see like the order that they actually came in. That's I don't know fair. whether they sort of send them in random orders for like different people, but this is the order that ours came in. Adam's colour blind. There in is case you don't know. <laughs> absolutely no indication of what colours are on here, so no. that's a problem. <laughs> is there primary colours in there? Yeah, there's there's all the colours that you're gonna need and you'll are be you able sure to like mix colours from this. Yeah, it's a it's a very good colour set. But you are probably gonna have a hell of a time with the all red, green and brown all living in this corner <laughs> together. <laughs> so if Adam's frog ends up being like red, brown and green then... Hey, I'm still gonna try and colour it. I might not like gouache, but I'm still gonna try and colour it in <laughs> Okay. Let's get this over with. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna try. Ooh, the very gloopy pants. And you don't, <laughs> don't make me nervous. Oh God, look how much paint there is. I know, that's one of the things that I kept sort of fighting with of it. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'll do his little froggy hands first. Oh, this paint. Oh, no. <laughs> Let me wet the paintbrush a little bit. 
Oh, there we go. That's oh no. <laughs> I'm no. I'm gonna. You guys know I don't like it, but I'm gonna try and stay optimistic with this because I would like to try and do a good job. So I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna really. I, I'm gonna really try my best for you guys. There we go. That's not so bad now. Gosh, I'm so out of my element with this though because like. Gouache is so uh, pigmented, isn't it? And with, as you guys probably seen in streams and videos and stuff, when we've used watercolors, I love to do very sort of light washes that like it's barely there. I really like how that looks. I think it looks quite like dreamy and stuff, but this, it, it's too real. <laughs> what you could do is if you grab hold of the paint palette, you could like water it down in the paint palette. Yeah, that might, yeah, I might do that next, but that's, uh, gosh, that's very thick. It's isn't it? real yeah. thick. Yeah, there we go. That's way better. Look at that. I don't think I even needed to use as much as I put on there. That's way better. Oh, yes. Oh, look at that. Now we're talking. This is way better. Right, let me try. And he's going to have eyebrows, but I'm going to let that dry and paint over it. So I'm going to go over the eyebrows and stuff. <gasps> You're going to lose your line work. <laughs> oh, I don't mind. It's it, just for the eyebrows. I don't mind so much. Okay, I've definitely watered it down because I can still see my lines. <laughs> yeah, definitely uh, watered it down, maybe, maybe uh, a little bit too much, but you know, it's okay. Oh no, you can water it down as much as you want. You can even use it as like a watercolor if you no, want. No, 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 no. I specifically didn't want to use it the way I normally would. Uh, because because it's gouache, I want to try. thick. Yeah, because it's gouache, right, I need to, as much as I don't like it, I need to give it a fair go. This looks like I painted it in like second grade. I, just, <laughs> I never would, I would never paint. I would I'd always be amazed by the kids that like would color stuff in like, uh, and their lines would all be straight. I, I would always like color in one way, then color in another way. And that's exactly how this looks. Okay, I have sketched very lightly, so you might not be able to see <laughs> anything on here, but hopefully you'll see it build up over time. I was using the other brushes previously, uh, got one here. I was using that one. It was originally white, but it's been stained like green already with... <laughs> with my frog. Can I just say it's so nice having someone who knows what they're doing. <laughs> the closest, because it's so hard to like translate through video, the texture and the feel of the paint. Very gloopy. The only... Exceptionally <laughs> yeah, gloopy. You're saying you gloopy carbonara again. <laughs> but like, for you guys like watching, the closest thing that I can describe it to that I think everyone would probably be kind of familiar with is like... Goopy carbonara. <laughs> you better stop that. <laughs> it's like, you know when you melt chocolate over a pan? Mm-hmm. It's like that. Oh, like a sticky dipping sauce. Yeah, it, it, it is. It's sticky. It's, it's so strange. If you could see her face. <laughs> it's contorting. It's grimacing. <laughs> it's the... Uh texture of it it's coming it's so out weird yeah. very watered down and i was trying to go for like more of a chunky okay i think i'm gonna have to build up on colors <laughs> but hey i have to say that your control with a brush with this is a lot better than me thank you i have no control <laughs> with paints and life <laughs> <laughs> and life in general well steph says that she's a gouache snob but it just means it's just something that she enjoys so uh, I'm, I'm i'm very curious to see what you think when it's done well, and like when you've like used more gouaches are one of um, my all-time favorite art supplies this goes yeah this goes way back to like um Oh, these ones actually. There's one on your desk. Um, you're you're really into the these uh, whole. Uh, ones, these are right? uh, acrylic gouache, so slightly different. Than oh, not okay. A water based one, but there is that palette. Um, can you see next to my keyboard? Oh, is it this thing? Or is it like sealed shut? <laughs> it's not been opened in a little while. Oh, there you go. Oh, even. There oh go. my god! Wow, so that's so well loved. My green started to fall out a bit, but it's I can fix cakey. that with um, glycerin. We did a That's video on that as well, didn't we? But yeah, for people who are asking, how's my gouache palette going? It's been very well loved. <laughs> and hey, it still works. Add a bit of glycerin. And these and, are uh, those some of be the fun. best paints that I could think to name. The colours are beautiful. Look at all these bright colours. That's man. such a loved palette. Like, oh my god. And who makes those again? A uh, whole bind. I'll link to them with the yeah with affiliate, the affiliate links. stuff. Because yeah, those are like is whole like the go-to like 
gouache people. I've seen some people really highly recommend schmink, but I haven't tried those yet, so I'd love to get hold of some of those one day. Mm, we've only ever tried um, the watercolours of those, but those were really good. Some people also highly recommend Winsor & Newton gouache, but never oh, use those. Fair enough, okay. I've used one Dale Rowney gouache before, and that was, uh, what was it? The, the Dale Rowney one. I bought one that was supposed to be, I think it was opera pink, and the colour of it was anything but opera pink. It was almost like a brown, so that was really oh disappointing. God. I don't know, maybe you got like a bad batch or something? I mean, brown. No, I've, I've seen numerous people say really? about it, yeah. Oh. Just certain companies are better at like being able to produce bright colours, and since I'm such like a big fan of like really bright colours. Yeah, you love that, yeah. I just like to go in with like some coloured pencils just to tighten up the lines. I like that idea, I might steal that. I think it sort of helps uh, bring in some like sharper details because it can get a bit gloopy carbonara. Maybe just put a bit of this over the background to give it a little bit of uh, texture. And also because I didn't say it, the uh, idea behind this lady is that she's supposed to be a dandelion fairy. Oh, okay. You might be wondering what's my thought process behind when I'm working and the truth is I just sort of do whatever my pencil feels like it wants to do next. <laughs> I don't really plan how things are gonna look. A true font of inspiration. <laughs> it looks cute. I love the head thing. Like the, where the dandelion head would be is like her head piece. It's cute. Oh, who's this boy over here? Yeah. I've been in this video, which is probably for the best because I've been so nervous. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> it's like if I do a bad job, it's like, don't look at me. <laughs> look what happened when I let me use the palette. He made it look. very blue. I like blue. <laughs> and can you see all those uh, aesthetic colours that I was mixing that he stole yeah. down there? <laughs> That's me. And this is like Steph's colours. <laughs> See, look, if I have like a colorist, someone who can pick the colors for me, I think I'm okay. Oh, you turn to a professional then, do you? I've always been professional. Oh, idiot. okay. Fair <laughs> but yeah, I, I think it's a good idea to add these, um, like you said, just to kind of fill in the gaps because uh, I'm not very good at... I see some really beautiful gouache stuff where, uh, you know, it's all in the lines and it's perfect and it, I ain't got a clue how they do that. <laughs> Does he look like a frog? I don't draw frogs very often, but I know you do. He's definitely got the frog collars and the frog eyes. <laughs> so he looks like someone who's green with frog <laughs> eyes. <laughs> Close enough. It's fantasy. I guess. You can do what you want with it. I guess, I guess. He's looking down. That's why you can't does see his mouth. Does he have a plaster mouth. on his head? He does. He's bumped his I head. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> He's a bit of a clumsy frog -o. but but uh, But we like that. We like a clumsy frog. There we go. Yeah, I'm excited for you to bring the potion bottle out a bit more. It's kind of like hidden away, isn't it? So maybe if I just darken like one side of it a little bit, because the light can come from that way. You can even darken the potion a little bit too. Ooh. It could look a bit murky. Maybe he's just going to the doctor's. Maybe he's paid in it and he's taking. <laughs> it's bright blue. That's why he's going to the doctor's. <laughs> That's why he's going. He's like, doctor, is this is this normal? Is this normal? This, this came out of me. It depends if you've had like a blue slushy or something. That's true, but blue slushies also make you poo green. <laughs> it's, uh, I don't know what's in them, but they, they do some crazy things to your body, don't they? Anyway, I'm going back to my painting. Oh, you had, you had enough of me now. Blue poo was uh, <laughs> my final straw. I'm oh, right. okay. I'm sorry, dear. Okay. <laughs> All right, so, Himmy Gouache. What is the verdict, your Gouache now? Uh, I really thought I was going to like resent this stuff. And in some ways I do. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> because it is very, very gloopy. I think if you use it with like another medium to just sort of like tighten things up a bit. Whereas yeah, yeah. with other gouache brands, I can sort of get away with like just doing things in gouache alone. But with this, I think it would be difficult just because of how gloopy it is. It's hard to have much control of like getting 
the amount of paint that you want on I your struggled brush. with it as well. And yeah. I did compare that with both like the brushes that they're supplied with it, um, a water brush as well, and I've just come to the conclusion that I think just because it's student grade gouache, but it's obviously useful that you've got it in a handy dandy yeah, palette. Yeah, there are that some you can pluses. Carry I mean, it comes in a thing you can carry. You get a lot of paint for your money. You get you three can tell brushes. by like the weight of it. Yeah, it weighs a it. ton. It's so heavy. Although I must admit, I am now sort of like, what am I supposed to do now? Because we've now got like this, yeah. and like. If you were to travel with this, do you just walk around with this in your bag? Like, what if... Would it get stuck? I mean, I know it has, like, clips on, like, the lid that fasten to it. Yeah. But mm. I wouldn't trust putting this in my bag and travelling around with it, because if it tipped up, imagine how much paint could be in your bag. Oh, my... Oh, oh, <laughs> Yeah, um, mm. I'm not sure what you would do. But also, um... In the future, we might do a follow-up on these paints because okay. I've seen people say that they do like dry out like eventually. So we'll see what we think of them when they've like when also they've dried matured. Out. <laughs> matured. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Oh, where are my comics? If you like comics, got Ooh. some comics over here. If you like affiliate links, gonna put those down below with um, the comics and the art supplies that we have used today. <laughs> wow, Doodle Day, catering to your every need. <laughs>